Let's go ahead and let's add our second camera to our matinee and start to animate that. So if I come over here, this is the second camera that I created. And I'm going to lock my viewport to this actor. And what I want is for this one to start off with the statue on the left side of the shot. And then we're going to move this to, to the left and have the finish with the statue on the right side of the shot. Okay, so we're going to start off about here. I think that'll look pretty cool. So let me unlock my view from that actor. So with this second camera selected, let's jump back into the matinee. And to add a second camera is just like we saw before. With the camera selected in the viewport, we're going to right click. We're going to create a new camera group. Very important to rename this stuff and keep it organized. So we're going to set it to camera two. We have a first keyframe right here. Uh, what we want to do is we want to set up a second keyframe. So basically, how long should it take for this camera to pan across? Um, well, I'm going to animate this one a little bit differently, by the way. What I want to do is I want to move this camera. Now, I want to be careful here because if I move it now, it's going to move in world space. So see, the camera is facing that way. See how the widget is pointing this way? It points down at an angle like this. That's not going to work out well. So what I need to do is change this from world space to local space. So now the camera is going to move correctly. Now if I take the camera and move it like this, it's going to move to the right position. OK, cool. So let me move that back to where it was. All right. So let's jump in here, and I'm going to move ahead, say, four seconds, just like the other one, just to see what we end up with. Okay, And one thing you want to make sure is that you have this movement track selected so that Unreal knows uh, what you're trying to animate. Because you have so many tracks here in different groups, Unreal won't know what you're trying to animate. It won't know if you're trying to animate the FOB angle, the movement here, or something else. You want to make sure that these tracks, the correct track, is actually highlighted and selected. So I'm looking at the preview in the bottom right, and that's what I'm going to use to determine where I want to move this guy. So I'm going to move this. And by the way, I have grid snapping turned on. If I want more fluid movement, which is usually the case when doing camera animation, you might want to take grid snapping off. So I'll turn that off. And now I can move this perfectly exactly where I want. So I'll move this to about right here. So his hand is just barely in the shot. And we got the cool waterfall in the background. I'm going to jump back into matinee. And again, with that track selected, I'll add a keyframe at four seconds. See that? Pretty cool. So now we have our animation. I'm going to tear this menu off just so I can scrub through the animation real quick. And you can see in the little preview window, there it is. In four seconds, our animation gets there. So let's hit loop and see what we've got. Pretty cool. Let's watch it again. And it's good to see this, you know, three, four times, or as many times as you need to, uh, to really look at it, be picky about it, and kind of analyze it. I feel like this pan is a little bit too fast. So what I might end up doing is slowing it down by adding more seconds to it. It just feels like it's too quick. So I'm going to stop it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this keyframe and I'm going to move it to, uh, let's double it up. Let's make it eight seconds instead of four. And I can actually right click on the keyframe itself and click on set time. And I can set the new time automatically so I don't have to like, you know, click and drag this and try to move it perfectly into position. I can actually select an exact second as to where I want it. So if I wanted to say at 8.5 seconds, I could just do 8.5, etc., etc. So it's pretty useful. Okay, cool. I'm going to set my looping to just past it so I could see how this looks when I start to loop this. So let's hit loop. 
can see it's a lot slower now, but it's not too slow. I'm actually liking the way that that looks. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I'll watch it a second time. Yeah, that's looking pretty neat. We even got these cool particles coming in from the top of the camera, which looks pretty interesting. Pretty cool stuff. I love Unreal 4. Yes, I do. All right, so we're going to stop that. Uh, cool. Let me close this, and I'm going to save. Always a good idea to save, no matter what you're doing. Okay, pretty cool. So we've got camera two set up. All right. I'm going to go ahead and let me see if there's anything I want to do with this matinee before I end this video and move on to the next one. No, this looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to leave it alone. Sometimes simpler is better. I'm not going to animate the FOV or any of that stuff. Uh, sometimes keeping things as simple as possible looks the best. All right, cool. So I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and in the next one, we'll work on camera number three.